Hi, Homeworthy. I'm Jono. And I'm James. And welcome to our house in California. We can't wait to show you around. Come in. You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Before today's episode, click the join button below to support all of the storytelling we do on this channel. Our growing community of members help to directly fund more videos so we can capture these extraordinary homes from around the world. So join today to receive early and exclusive access to new Homeworthy videos. Hello, my name's James Williams. I'm managing partner at the furniture brand Atra, and you are at our home in Beechwood Canyon. Uh, and I'm Jono Burden. I'm a tech executive and a musician. And this is Sonoma, and this is Quaver. This is a uh, postmodernist villa um, from 1990, uh, designed by the architect Jay Vanos. Uh, it's in the heart of Beechwood Canyon, uh, quite towards the top, and we're really in the centre of Griffith Park. Yeah, and we moved here in 2020. Um, we had, we've been together for 17 years. So we moved from London then to San Francisco and we ended up in Los Angeles in 2020. Uh, got locked into this house in, during, at the beginning of the pandemic and we've not left since pretty much. Actually, this was a really unusual purchase for us in a sense. We were looking for a Spanish house when we moved down from San Francisco. We had this, you know, Jono particularly wanted a Ibethan Villa vibe which Los Angeles does provide and this is the exact opposite and the architecture of this place is um, yeah it's all angles and glass and and the windows and polished concrete floors so it's very much different to what we expected so we designed honoring the architecture of the home so it is uh, a minimalist haven but it's it, extremely comfortable and really um, it's all about the lifestyle that it provides and yeah the, the home really inspired us to uh, design um, with the spirit of the home in mind. Yeah James is a, a passionate cook and I'm a uh, you know a on top of work a passionate musician so we wanted to really um, you know when we came and saw the house we saw that it had the capability to fit both of those needs of like being able to host and being able to you know enjoy a pretty fabulous lifestyle um, and you'll see some of the rooms along the way that we've we've uh, added in um, including our, our music studio and our and our music room, um, as well as our outdoor dining area. So it kind of catered uh, for everything on top of the, of everything that we couldn't get from, a, from the houses that we're looking at. I think we looked at 60 houses in total. Uh, yeah. And then this was like a massive outlier. And uh, when we saw it, we were like, this feels right, but should we do it? And so we, we went for it and uh, the rest is history. And welcome to the entryway of our home. Um, you enter from the street level onto this glass bridge, which then enters this uh, double height ceiling room, which is actually called the pentagram. Uh, <laughs> the architect gave it that name, not me. Uh, but it's really an amazing space because you have all of these windows, all of these skylights. And from this point in the home, which is the first thing that you see, you can see all the way down to the bottom pool level. And actually every single, almost every room of the house you can see from here. So it's a really sort of magical, elevating, uh, airy moment when you walk in. And now I'm gonna take you down to the living room. So here we are in the living room. Um, the high ceilings and the windows, the polished concrete floors, it's all quite minimal and we really try to take cue points off this space. If you're looking outside, which invariably you are, this is what this whole room is about, it's just so green. We're surrounded by bamboo and the eucalyptus trees and palm trees and that sort of naturalistic feeling is what we really leaned into when we uh, chose to decorate the home. It's natural stones, it's all travertine, it's a neutral palette 
and the wall space and the whole environment really is dedicated to our passion for art and collecting art, which by the way, we mostly collect from our friends. We're really lucky to have a lot of very talented friends. Um, some of these pieces, this is by Andreas Diaz Anderson. He's a Mexico City based artist, uh, which is textile art. We've got Wes Adderhold here, uh, who's a New York based artist. So really this space is about enjoying, bringing the outside in and enjoying the environment. All of these light fixtures, there's, they're here and then through the, through the kitchen as well. They're sort of, uh, they're a custom, uh, custom blown, custom designed for this house. And it, they're like a kind of constellation of stars. When you see it at night time, I'm obsessed with dimming lights. And they're, so they're all dimmable. So I'm like putting them up, putting them down, depending on uh, how the light's going or what we're, you know, who we're hosting or how we want to feel. So having this sort of constellation, which I've got a certain amount of power over, <laughs> feels really good. The fireplace is original to the house, but like many things in this house, it's been adapted, redeveloped, redone, uh, you know, 10 times. Uh, so this, uh, this is original to the house, um, but there's another fireplace actually underneath it. And this, uh, the way that we designed this is we had this taken into black, like the staircase and like the kitchen. So everything about this house from the, the green to the neutrals to the black, it's all about consistency. So having consistency on the eye uh, is just the most calming thing. And I think putting black into houses is a bit controversial, or at least used to be, um, but it actually makes kind of imperfections disappear and just it just imbues a sense of calm and we love it. All of the furniture and design pieces uh, in this room are by Atra, which is my furniture brand. Um, so, you know, we've you know, we've, we've gone for it in creating a really, uh, yeah, again, to play into continuity, like a, an environment which uh, aesthetically is all tuned in together. These are all uh, the most comfortable deep set chairs and sofas. And it's all, the orientation of the room is all about conversation, but also being able to, to look out and look throughout the house. And the U shape of the house uh, enables you to sit here and I can actually see into my bedroom actually <laughs> over there or I can see someone having a cocktail out on the deck so it's all oriented around uh, conversation and, and socializing as you'd expect. Yeah so this house is all about hosting and bringing people in and having cocktails and just having a good time and uh, with, with, your, with your friends and your family and invariably the evening transitions, the sun sets and uh, we often end up in our little nightclub, which is called Tiempos, and so I'll take you in there. I've been a, you know, I grew up as a musician. I then sank my teeth into uh, my, my, our work world, and but everything's always drawn back to music and to us hosting and having a good time. And so we ended up, uh, you know, getting to the beginning of the pandemic and, you know, we were realizing we were going to be locked into the house for a while and we suddenly realized that there was the opportunity for us to pick up some new skills. Um, so we ran to the guitar center, picked up as much equipment as possible. And the, from there, we started really kind of evolving the room and we were redesigning the house at the time. So we really kind of built a custom house around being able to have a room which was you know, quite opulent and comfortable. Well, as Brits, <laughs> we grew up on a rainy aisle covered in cloud and Los Angeles and testament to how many visitors we have from London uh, is a bit of the dream scenario. Uh, so the sunshine, having a swimming pool, it's pretty basic as a British person. If the sun's shining, essentially you're happy. That's it. <laughs> because, because it's the opposite of how we grew up. Uh, and going back is, you, you know, for the first week it's nostalgia and then the second week you're like, okay, wait, get me out of here. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, it was, uh, it, it was a, a journey through San Francisco and we did love San Francisco. Um, but when you're in San Francisco, you try to not look at Los Angeles because you're like, it's too tempting. Uh, <laughs> it's too tempting, it's too sunny and everyone's having too much of a good time down there. Um, but then we did it anyway. So welcome to the beating heart of the house. This is Tiempos. Um, the, it's the mini nightclub that we created within the house and we have had several guests in here. It's really become the beating um, 
part place of the house where we have several good times with cocktails. We've created this custom cocktail bar made out of green marble and brass features. Um, we've installed our own personal DJ booth in here. But let me talk you through how we came to this point. This originally was the dining room. And as a Brit, we love hosting Sunday lunches. And we very quickly realized that a dining table for six, which is what this room could fit, wasn't gonna work out. And so we will show you later, we moved the entire dining room outside, which was you know, a first for us, having moved from London um, and being able to have you know, all year round weather. And we really wanted to create an energy where we could have people over, come and relax on a Friday, Saturday or Sunday, whatever day of the week it was. And you know, we love hosting and so being able to have a place where people could come and relax. So let me talk you through some of the design features. So we wanted to create this energy and atmosphere of somewhere where people can relax. And so we went for this dark green aesthetic. You know, we've, we really wanted to create a, a lovely mood and we complemented these with these lush green velvet curtains, which were provided with, which we went with, with elitist materials. Uh, and we complemented this with this beautiful red mohair. Roofer, um, which we built custom for the space. Um, you know, we find ourselves relaxing, um, watching movies here in the winter, and it's really come into its own. Uh, you know, we, we find that, you know, the majority of the time spent with friends or, um, you know, when people are visiting from out of town um, or when we have our godchildren in town, of which we, James and I, between us, we have 12 godchildren, all based between the UK and the United States. So we find that this turns into a multitask room and it's been a really beautiful part of the home. Um, so let me talk you through what we've done. So we got gifted the Tiempo sign uh, for, as a birthday gift by our friends in the UK and that kind of really set the tone for helping us design the room. So we actually spent about a year living in the space before we fully went for building this custom space. Um, but the room was originally decorated by a collage artist who had included several, uh, several Playboy covers uh, all over the walls, which when we moved in, we were like, okay, this might not be the perfect brand for us, but we still wanted to keep some of the history of the house. And so we've got them included all over because they are pretty cool. And we've included some of the favorite covers that were still there. We ended up uh, building this custom and installing this. This is all solid marble. It's extremely heavy. It took a team of about eight to bring it in. And um, this custom woodwork that we installed. Um, so when you open this up, this transforms. And in the, when the, in the tranquility of the day, we have this all closed. But at the nighttime, we open this up. And we've also installed this custom brass bar detail, uh, which was not here beforehand. So um, this has all been built custom for the space. Uh, and we really love having a great time here. And needless to say, uh, as a musician and being able to host, we had to install custom music decks as well. But we also installed this whole mirror. Uh, so this is all made of uh, uh, polished, polished stainless steel. And needless to say, we're having a great time in this in this room and if the walls could talk you know they'd, they've got several stories um, and then we've also got this custom Meriban rug uh, this black Meriban rug which we install which gives means people can take their shoes off and dance uh, in here when they want so you've seen the place where we love to dance and relax and hang out let me show you where we love to cook and follow me through to the kitchen I myself, I've been working in the tech space still. I still work in the space today and uh, have been doing so for a number of years. So um, doing that, but with a, you know, a hobby of music on the side, which is kind of like my passion project, which has kind of played a major influence in the, in the house that we live in today as well. Yeah, so uh, throughout my whole time in London, I was working at digital agencies in uh, tech startups. And uh, that brought me to San Francisco, where I used to run a software design agency a couple of software design agencies over a couple of years, uh, which is essentially business consultancy. And you, in that role, you're always looking at exciting industries that need to, uh, injections of energy and, and, and sort of revolution, especially from a, a technology perspective. And uh, so I went into uh, luxury furniture uh, with a friend of mine who's a very talented creative director, um, and it's called Atra. And LA essentially is, a design heartland uh, with lots of really amazing big houses and people that are very passionate about art and design. Um, so that's how we ended up here. So welcome to the kitchen, uh, the heart of the home. Uh, essentially this is an in 
almost an industrial uh, capacity kitchen. Uh, we've had chefs come and cook for us when we're being fancy, but most of the time um, it's me and Jono cooking. Uh, if you're lucky enough to be <laughs> invited for Sunday lunch here, um, you are not only a, uh, a guest, but you are a guest chef. So you are put to work immediately. And the beautiful thing about this space is that, well, no one minds being put to work, but also there's enough space to, um, to really work. It's got the magic, the magic triangle. I can reach for the fridge. I can start cooking. I can get my friends to start cooking as well. Um, and this whole space is intimately connected to the home. It is open plan, which isn't for everybody, uh, but... It really is a magical place to cook. So most of the time here we are cooking uh, roast chicken or we actually uh, like having more casual dining with like more tapas grab and go little bites. Uh, but this was designed as a omakase style dining area. So the idea of the, uh, the chef or the cook or mostly me passing food to my guests while they're still having a, a really great time. Um, it's sort of the production area or, or when we're having bigger dinners as well because the dining room is just uh, the outside dining room is just through the doors and up the stairs over here so uh, it's uh, from a design perspective it's really industrious uh, right now it looks super minimal and probably kind of anal OCD um, so I'm sure your viewers might have a few comments about that and um, believe me it gets very messy but if you're a guest you're also a cleaner <laughs> This is a monolithic uh, structure in, in the room. It takes, up, uh, it takes up a lot of space. It's sculptural in a certain sense. And it's in the, really, really the heart of the home. So when you're walking in, this is where we're welcoming people. This is where people are hanging out. This is where people are having conversations. Uh, here, I'm just grabbing desperately uh, at last minute on what I'm gonna cook from the various uh, different cuisines of the world ultimately end up coming back to a few staple dishes that, that we know well. And as I mentioned earlier, the, the choice of going with the, the granite darkness into the, the backsplash and all of the, the cabinetry with black just allows everything to sort of disappear. And it's like creates a sophisticated, calming feeling. Um, but it also allows some of our mess to disappear as well. We chose all of our electronics in black, uh, all of the crockery is black. So it's just, it's, again, it just allows that sort of continuity and simplicity. Um, of course, it gets very messy, so that only lasts so long. We met 17 years ago now, or 16? 16. 16 years ago. Yeah, yeah so it was 2008. 2008, <laughs> I'd just graduated college. Um, we had... I think we must have had over 75 friends in common. So it was a case of when we were going to meet rather than how we were going to meet. And uh, we were at this European festival um, and uh, we had the crossover and we had a moment and I think we both kind of knew. I was 22 and you were 23 at the time. And so, you know, that's older and wiser. Yeah, now we're older and wiser. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, we kind of hit it off straight away. And um, I think, you know, we went through living in a house in London together for a number of years, well, a few houses in London. And then we decided to make the, uh, the, the adventure and take it um, internationally uh, in about 2015. We took the show on the road. We took the show on the road, exactly. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so, we've, um, yeah, so we've, we've, we're 16 years in strong and uh, that's where we're at right now. And of course, we're, uh, we're in Los Angeles, so I won't keep you waiting any longer. We're gonna move outside to the outdoor dining area. All right, so welcome to our dining room. Uh, so you saw the club earlier. This is, uh, as I said, there were only six people that were able to sit in the room downstairs. So we decided to build our custom dining table, which you will see here for our Sunday lunch moments. Now, for us, we love to sh shove as many people as possible, uh, have a whole day of cooking. Pretty much every Sunday we have people here. And the idea is, is just to bring together our close friends, our community that we have out here, and we really have a great time. So this is, a lot of time is spent here. Lots of, uh, lots of food, lots of wine, lots of good memories have been built here. Um, and so what we've done is we, installed this custom dining table uh, made out of uh, 
quartz marble. Um, there's brass detailing, as you will see, so kind of a continuation of what we had in the kitchen already. We've added additional landscaping done by uh, Homs and Gardens, uh, an LA-run uh, landscaping company who have helped build out the, the garden space. Uh, and, you know, we really, really love spending a lot of time out here. Um, to be able to have as many people here as possible really brings a great atmosphere and so many good times have been shared here. Now James is going to take you downstairs to the pool area. Yeah, so I'm going to take you down to the pool, pool cabana and the pool area, which invariably we spend most of our time in. Yeah, so this is the pool cabana, which looks out on the pool. This is actually a room that we added. Um, it was an open space before, so we made it uh, a multimodal room. So all the windows close and it can actually be a media room as well. But as you can see, like the, when the windows open, uh, it's really about, again, bringing that outside in feeling. And it's really fun. We, you know, we, when we first moved in, you know, it was the Olympics were about to happen. So it's about sort of being in the pool, being able to watch the Olympics and the design in here is more naturalistic than anywhere else in the home. It's all about the textures and the kind of raw stones and yeah, those, those, those neutral calming feelings and you're away from the rest of the house. So it's silent and calm and you can have a real moment of peace here. And this is another one of our favorite pieces by Marco Walker. It's got a real body of water uh, in the background. And again, it's that sort of like peaceful, tuning in with what we're seeing outside and bringing it in uh, with, a, with a pop of color. There's uh, several pieces that we love most about the home. Um, so I think being here, we have really kind of, we've always hosted, um, we've always had a ritual of having Sunday lunches, like not only in the UK, but we kind of transferred that pretty much in every city and house that we've lived in. So, um, you know, there are, there are two parts to the house which we, we can't, we know, we, we absolutely love. And I think for you, it must be the, the kitchen. You're, James is an exquisite chef. I do love the kitchen. I love cooking. It's therapy and <laughs> meditative to me. Um, I do also like the nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun. And, uh, I think honestly my favourite place is the, the pool cabana room we put downstairs because it's just so peaceful and, and you've got a, you know, a body of water. Can you call a swimming pool a body of water? I think so. Uh, they've got water <laughs> nearby and it's, just, and it's all neutrals and naturals and up here it's a bit you know, fancy and you know, luxurious fabric, fabrics but down there it's, it's just very peaceful and uh, it you know, really makes me feel calm so I think my, my favourite place. <laughs> And for me, I think my two rooms is I've got my little music studio, which I've been built out, which is kind of like my therapy room. Um, I can sometimes be locked up in there for several hours at a time, um, writing some new tunes, and then I can transfer them to the, the music room and bar and test them out on the speakers. So that's a lot of fun as well. Uh, and being able to just really kind of like in, indulge in my, in my passion. So coming in from outside, this is the primary bedroom, which really of all the rooms in the house gives you the best uh, impression of what it feels to live here, which is really a tree house in the canyon. Uh, with the room itself, um, we've leaned into some color, some colorful moments, and it's all about the natural woods, the blues, the red, and just a sense of vibrancy uh, that we can come, because we have a very neutral home, and this is just like our fun zone. And actually, if you're, you know, in our home and you come up here, you're like, oh, photographs, real people live here. And, and it's true. It's just, it's, it's really where we, uh, where we relax and, uh, and can just look out on the canyon and, uh, and, and are up here in the trees. So this is a custom bed. Um, it's a, a Cali Super King and uh, it's got this sculptural lighting. Again, it's kind of mirroring the, uh, the lights in the main room. It's this kind of constellation light effect. And uh, yes, I use the dimmer on these as well. So the master bedroom, again, being up in the, up in the trees. So if, you cut, if you're coming from this angle, you know, you've got the foliage and the indoor plants and that sort of naturalistic feeling. You've got floating, uh, the floating shelves and the floating uh, case here, which, it gives more space, again, kind of brings the outdoor in. 
And uh, we've got uh, another one of our favorite artists. We've got sort of a number of his works here, Andreas Diaz Anderson, who's done this uh, flag art. So it's kind of like colorful pops of color, bringing the nature in and having a fun, peaceful environment, um, which is ultimately where we spend most of our time asleep. <laughs> And let's check out our primary bathroom, which I'm going to let Jono talk you through. This is our spa bathroom that we've installed. Um, we wanted to create a calm space, so we've included a lot of travertines on the wall, um, travertine tile. We installed this new bath because there was no bath here before. It was just originally a wet room. Um, but the thing that really captured our attention, we had a lot of photographers living here beforehand. And so the, this has been used in shoots and in, uh, in, and in videos beforehand. And I wanted to show you one of my favorite features of the house, which is our lie down shower. Because, you know, when you have a shower, why do you need anything other than something which is completely um, useful such so that you can see here we have a moment that if you're ex completely exhausted you can come and have a quick lie down at the end of the night from a, a busy evening and and wash away your sins so that's uh, that's uh, that was a captivating moment you'll see that there's a big glass uh, glass window there so there have been some we've got some great sh shots of uh, big uh, actors and, and and musicians who've been in this house as well which is all element to the, the charm of the, the Hollywood history of this house. So to continue with the, um, the calming effects of the house, we've installed this custom white oak uh, vanity um, you know, and mirror. We wanted to have the, the sink to suit the same style as the bathtub. So ultimately we've got you know, just a, a cool space and we've got these photos uh, by one of our favorite photographers. Uh, um, uh, so we've got those installed here as well. Uh, but ultimately, it's just all to create a sense of calm and, and relaxation through uh, when, when we get to the end of the day or the start our days, which we absolutely love. And I wanted to quickly show you my music studio, which is a work in process. Um, but ultimately, here is where I make a lot of my tracks and uh, I've got some music inspired art on the wall. I've got this Alec Monopoly piece, which I found on a... a on Portobello Market about 20, 2009. Uh, so interesting because obviously he's gone through his own journey since then. And then I've also got this uh, photo uh, by Jesse LaRolla, um, who is a, a, a photographer, which I absolutely love. And so, yeah, this is where I make my tracks and then I go and take them out through to the music room and test them out, which we absolutely love. I think for me, the word home is, is just, it's for us, it's, the place where you feel welcome to, to be welcome everyone into the house, you know, be it your friends, be it family. We have numerous visitors, um, but for home also, it's like being, coming home to the doggies and being able to have them here. It's, uh, it kind of really makes it, you know, the dogs make the house a home for sure. And so, uh, you know, we live just by some amazing parks. So being able to just walk out the house and, you know, then come home and it's just the best feeling in the world. Yeah. Home is a very loaded question when you're a transplant from from another country, you know, because you, know, you have to really work at making somewhere um, distant your home and that's the environment. But I think it's really about people and people and puppies, <laughs> <laughs> both of which are welcome in our home. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to go to homeworthy.com for exclusive content, shopping guides, and so much more.